My name is Jason Close. I seek presidential pardon. A little bit about my current status. I am former military, dishonorably discharged. By dint of the crimes I was convicted of, I am a felon and a sex offender. Obviously, I contest all of that. Being unable to obtain a job in three years, they three years i sleep on a bench outside the white house i use my various va resources to stay fed and hygienic which lets me fight i have been in dc for several weeks and have used that time to attempt to network with congressional members i am seeking political clout to help move my pardon case along starting with my arrival i maintain a logbook with every action i have taken or piece of information i have discovered there are three major aspects of this story whitney i was accused of brutally raping my wife's little sister who was about 8 at the time acquitted on these counts and specifications digital i was accused of knowing an unlawful possession of child pornography my actions and the computer records indicate that i was framed by my ex-lover and i attempted to correct by going to my superiors convicted on one count and two specifications autumn aforementioned ex-lover i violated ucmj law by being married at the time, UCMJ does not distinguish a separated status. Despite my blatantly confessing this to the investigator, never actually charged, this aspect is the linchpin of the entire case. The story of the case itself has a tremendous amount of information, but I will list a few bullet points of the things I assert, all of which have documentation. Multiple constitutional violations, 4th, 5th, 6th, 8th, and 13th, some on multiple prongs. Intentionally malicious prosecution. A completely biased judge molested as a child would not recuse. We won zero out of 40 objections. Tried on known tainted evidence. Disc with timestamps after confiscation. Inept handling of evidence. There's a disc logged into evidence that wasn't mine. Investigator committed perjury on the stand. His own notes align with what I claimed all along, but not with his statements on the stand. The special victim's prosecutor recused himself over ethical concerns the record of trial specifically whitney's testimony was edited to exclude key exculpatory testimony this is not a matter of a missing session but a seamless deletion of relevant lines the prosecution objected to the rape kit in the directly relevant rape trial and it was ultimately excluded lastly and key the prosecutor's computer expert explicitly stated under oath that there was nothing that indicated i had ever searched for opened or knew about the archive file in question while there is so very much more these stand out as the biggest offenses to me in my attempt for exposure i have written a mostly chronological document explaining the case it's lengthy but detailed i know there is more that i am missing but i do not have access to my notes or record of trial in my current status and didn't want to uh unwittingly assert inaccurate information my Twitter exposure thread and the Chronicle document are both listed below. The document will take about 10 minutes to read. As for me, I can be reached with the phone and email below. If it is late at night, I can also be physically approached near the vigil by the White House. It's sort of become my base of operations. I am willing to discuss any and all aspects of the case and documents. Regards, Jason Close.